Hi, Jessica. Hello, Mitch. My name is Nick. You spoke with Marcy last week, and this is your complimentary website video audit. I lived in Arizona and Peoria for about 10 years. I'm familiar with your company. And as I was doing the research for this audit, I have to say, um, from a website perspective and bringing traffic into your site, you're doing pretty well. So let's get started. As I'm looking at your homepage here, typically people will put a phone number at the top with a click to call. Basically, if I'm on my phone and some computers, I could just click and dial it. Your phone number you've got is down below here. Very difficult to see and um, not a click to call. I see you're also in, in Riverside in Chicago. I've grown up in Chicago. Um, great site that you've got so far. So one, let's change that phone number. Second. Google likes content. We recommend at least 2,000 words on the home page. Not that someone going to your site is going to read all of it, but all of that relevant content makes you a subject matter expert, and Google likes that, and it will put you higher in its results, in its rankings. And last item, Google doesn't read pictures. These pictures are beautiful, but what you want to do is Google reads what you save them as. So if I hit a save as right here, you can see it says home CFA cabinetry. That's really not a keyword that you're going for. And over here, you've got the same one, which is CFA, home CFA cabinetry. So you'll want to change up these images, at least the names of them, okay? Next, we want to look behind the scenes. This is a product called AREFS. It's about $800 a month, but it really shows me what's going on with your site in a month-to-month -month basis, okay? So besides content, you want something called backlinks. You're looking fairly good here. Backlinks are links from other credible sites back to yours saying, yes, CFA Cabinetry is uh, a trusted, right, trusted company. So your backlinks are good. And what we look at next is backlinks contain keywords, okay? So these organic keywords that you have here generate traffic. Last month, you had 373 people going to your site not necessarily calling you or filling out a form perhaps, but going to your site last month, you had 373 from these keywords. Let's take a look at this. Now, again, you're doing very well with your what we call search engine optimization and getting visitors to your site. If you want to do better, if you want to scale even further, this is what this video is about. So, so far as a recap, we've got adding content, putting your phone number, uh, preferably on the top with a click to call, changing the names of your images to keywords. So let's look here. CFA cabinets, well, that's your name, right? So you're getting plenty of traffic from that traffic here, and then it starts to drop off. So if we were to look at certain words like cabinetry, Phoenix, Arizona, a, a really good buyer intent keyword, last month received 60 search volume, and you're down here to 23, so you don't have any traffic from that, right? Here's one, Cabinets, Phoenix, Arizona. 100 volume, you're at number 26. Should you grow these to the top three or even the top spot, which wouldn't be overly difficult, it just takes time and content and backlinks and such, you can start getting traffic for these. Typically in the number one spot, you'll get 30 to 40% of this. Cabinetry here, Phoenix cabinets, there's another one, right? Cabinets in Phoenix, Arizona, etc. So that's what you want to start to do. You want to start to create more content and more backlinks using these keywords, um, buyer intent keywords that are relevant to what you sell. Now let's look at this. If I were to type in here, cabinets, Phoenix, Arizona, these three are the map pack or Google map pack, okay? Here is your Google listing, which is great that you've claimed it and that you have it. You can see here, positive reviews, et cetera. Now, what I would change is the better you manage this listing here, the more likely you are to be here. And not only managing the listing, but putting together something called citations. Those are your company's name, address, and phone in different directories on the internet. Something else that you could do here where it says, see photos, build these up. I mean, there's companies that literally put 100 plus photos in here, and the more relevant photos that you have in here, named after keywords, again, the better that you're going to be. So let's go back to this search. 
and the search for cabinets phoenix arizona we first come up with superior stone and cabinet so this would be considered your competitor for cabinets phoenix arizona if we look at their site you know nothing special at all the content's not there they do have some low-end offerings i don't know if you want to do that or not but what we want to look at is let's look behind the scenes at this site they're getting 500 plus traffic better than yours a little bit let's look at their keywords the way that we find keywords that we want to use for our own site and our own backlinks is to look at the competitors look at this wholesale cabinets phoenix not that you may want to get into that market but 200 volume they're number one and they're getting 97 visits right phoenix kitchen cabinets they're number one they're getting a third of it or 20. so this is what you want to be able to do and i want to recap for you here <clears throat> number one and i'm sorry that my screen is acting weird we'll leave it like this <clears throat> increased content on the site right two thousand plus words on the home page a thousand on the inner pages don't forget that phone number and also renaming and then resaving to the site those images with keywords backlinks for example cabinets phoenix arizona we want those backlinks to include relevant keywords and set those up that's something that you set over time it has to appear naturally so often it takes several months to get those in place lastly citations that was that map pack in order for you to get into the listing of the maps when someone pulls up a search term right we want to add citations and more images to your google listing so jessica and mitch i appreciate your time hopefully you've gotten something out of this and i will call you back to follow up and answer any questions thanks and have a great day